United States of America, okay, USA, uh, including Canada and surrounding countries. Gonna number these so. Okay. But yeah, John says there are seven heads, ten horns, and ten diadems on the horns. Okay. Um, and this is in Revelation chapter thirteen one. And I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast come up out of the sea, having ten horns and seven heads, and upon his horns ten diadems, and upon his heads names of blasphemy. Okay. Yeah. So John, John is standing on the sea here, and he sees seven, you know, uh, seven heads coming out of the sea. These are the seven continents. Um, the ten uh, horns on the heads are the ten regional groupings of the world. Okay. So I'm going to continue doing here. And then there will be ten rulers, one over each regional grouping. But then there is also an eleventh horn mentioned. Okay. Uh, yeah, the eleventh horn of Revelation, and this will be where the, the Antichrist steps in. You can find this online. They are the post-World War II New World Order regions. First propo proposed in 1942, uh, but now reinforced with the United Nations Millennium Development Goals Report 2009. <clears throat> and this is too big a coincidence, okay, uh, because John mentions seven heads, ten horns, and ten rulers, you know, ten crowns on the horns. So, USSR. Number two. This pen's going. Not up here, it's my it's my only black pen, I like this one. USSR, okay. Uh, including I mean they they get a bit strange. This includes Iran. Mongolia. Now, <laughs> what's funny is this was all put in place uh, to prevent another world war from occurring. That was the whole reason for the United Nations and these plans being drawn up. Uh, but whether they realise it or not, they're actually enforcing, they're actually um, fulfilling the book of Revelation, John's Revelation. Mongolia, Manchuria, Finland, uh, and all of Eastern Europe. Eastern. Alright, I'm not going to continue writing all of these down because it takes a while. Um, and it's all in my book, okay. <clears throat> right, number three. Uh, United States of South America. 
Oh, okay, so the USA is North America and Canada. Now there's a United States of South America. Okay, this is what the UN are planning <coughs> since World War II. Uh, number four. And <laughs> coincidentally, uh, the headquarters of the United Nations is in, you got it, New York. <coughs> Union of African Republics, UAR. Which is all of Africa. Five. The AFR. The Arabian Federation Republics. Okay. Uh, I'm going to write that. Arabian Federation of Republics. Six. This is most of the Middle East, most of the you know, Middle East. Uh, okay, Middle East. Six. Right. The Federation Republics of India. Okay, F R I. F R I. Federation. Republics of India. Alright. Uh, seven is. URC, United Republics of China. URC, United Republics of China. Number eight. United States of Scandinavia. How bizarre. Of all places. United States of Scandinavia. You should see, you should see when we get to uh, Europe, the, the British Commonwealth of Nations. That one is really weird. Uh, United States of Scandinavia. Well, actually, yeah, it's not that weird considering uh, uh, the colonization. Uh, United States of Europe, USE, USE, United States of Europe. Oh, so yeah, this one, sorry, includes Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Sweden, Norway, Denmark. Okay. USD is United States of Europe. I'm not going to write all these down, I'll just say them. Uh, that includes France, Switzerland, Spain, Germany, Portugal, Italy, and the 
Benelux countries. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, and then we have ten. Tenth region of the world. Uh, British Commonwealth of Nations. B C N. Okay, I'm going to have to change pen here. Um, BC pen. British. Oh, much better. Commonwealth. Of nations. Okay. Great Britain, GB, yeah, we're doing alright, we've got a, a, a great a Prime Minister and Mayor of London is hilarious, <laughs> uh, he, I mean, he, he's got to be the most likeable politician, uh, guy's a legend, anyway, GB, Sri Lanka Madagascar Australia New Zealand Let's put in Z and most of Indonesia. Okay. <clears throat>